need we need to know what happened if you're going to tell us this is factual we need to know what happened and we don't have those details without so many contradictions to offset whatever you do state name one inconsistency you keep on saying inconsistency but nothing of what you've spoken about so far has in any way demonstrated any inconsistency in fact uh it's a very reliable uh testimony and it, and legal scholars have even been challenged to weigh these things as if it were in court. And they said, yes, these are reliable testimonies. There's no contradictions or inconsistencies. These stories are based on oral reports that have been in circulation for decades. What happens to oral reports in circulation year after year, decade after decade? They get changed. In fact, uh, it's a very reliable uh, testimony. What evidence do we have that the stories about Jesus' death and resurrection got changed? You can read the stories yourself. Uh, maybe afterwards you can name one inconsistency. You keep on saying inconsistency. Simply read Mark's account of Jesus' death and then read John's account of Jesus' death and make a list of everything that happens in both and compare your lists. You will find that there are stunning differences. Name one inconsistency. In fact, there are discrepancies. Probably won't agree that I'm a hypocrite. Let me give you just a list of very quick examples. What day did Jesus die on? Name one inconsistency. I mean, that's a simple question. And luckily, we're told in both Mark and John. In Mark's gospel, we're told that Jesus died the day after the Passover meal was eaten in Jerusalem. John tells us explicitly, chapter 19, verse 14, that Jesus died the day before the Passover meal was eaten, on the day of preparation for the Passover. That's different. He couldn't die both days. These are reliable testimonies. There's no contradictions or inconsistencies. What about the time? According to Mark, he died at 9 in the morning. According to John, he wasn't, he wasn't condemned to death until afternoon. John 19, 14. Name one inconsistency. These are accounts that differ from one another. Did Jesus carry his cross the entire way to Golgotha, or did Simon of Cyrene carry it? It depends which gospel you read. In fact, uh, it's a very reliable uh, testimony. Did both robbers mock Jesus, or did only one of them mock him and the other come to his defense? It depends which gospel you read. So many contradictions. Did the curtain in the temple rip in half before Jesus died? Or was it after he died? It depends which gospel you read. So many contradictions. I can give you the references for all of these if you need me to, or you can look them up yourself. I'm not making these up. Those are just differences about Jesus' death. Yes, these are reliable testimonies. There's no contradictions or inconsistencies. What about differences in the accounts of his resurrection? Well, who went to the tomb on the third day? Did Mary Magdalene go alone, or did Mary go with other women? Depends which gospel you read. If with other women, how many of them were there? What were their names? And which ones were they? It depends which gospels you read. Probably won't agree that I'm a hypocrite. Was the stone rolled away before the women got to the tomb or not? What did they see in the tomb? Did they see a man? Did they see two men? Or did they see an angel? Depends which gospel you read. Probably won't agree that I'm a hypocrite. What were they told to tell the disciples? Were the disciples supposed to stay in Jerusalem to see Jesus? Or were they supposed to go to Galilee? Depends which gospel you read. We need to know what happened. Did the women tell anybody? Or were they silent about it? Depends which gospel you read. We need to know what happened. Did the disciples ever leave Jerusalem? Or did they immediately, did they never leave? Or did they uh, leave and go to Galilee? Depends which gospel you read. My conclusion, these are not reliable historical accounts. We need to know what happened. There are too many discrepancies. We need to know what happened. The accounts are based on oral traditions that have been in circulation for decades. Year after year, Christians try to convert others by telling them stories to convince them that Jesus was raised from the dead, and they change their stories while trying to convince people. These authors were not eyewitnesses. They're Greek-speaking Christians living many years after the fact. They're telling stories that Christians have been telling all these years. There was nobody there taking notes. Some of the stories were invented, many were changed. For this reason, these accounts are not 
as useful as historians would like as historical sources. What I've given you so far is really just kind of child's play compared to the real problem. Probably won't agree that I'm a hypocrite. <laughs>